coming. First of all, um, I've got so many things and thank yous to say. You guys know how this year went. It was the best track and field season in the history of Brewster High School. And I believe it's a lot of reasons, you know. And I'll start with these uh, three gentlemen here, as well as Megan. Uh, I don't believe Megan's here. Um, but that, that's where it all starts. It not only did it allow me to put together a staff this year where I didn't have to run from the shot foot to the hurdles over the high jump to the long jump and back and forth, and nobody's getting the, the full treatment there. Uh, this year, bringing Mason on and having Jason and having Megan and having Brylin uh, all do their things. Plus, it brought out, I'm pretty sure it brought out athletes that probably would not have turned out that did really, really well without these guys out there. So um, thank you all for that. We've got some ribbons here from the league track meet in Orville. Okay, they came late, so I want to get those to you. Um, let's do this real quick. Girls 400 relay for league champs. Boys, four by one was also league champ. <laughs> Boys, 200 meters league champ. <laughs> Boys, 100 meter. Fourth place 
place in league. Fourth place in league. Boys polo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's just start with the all links stuff. Uh, did you guys get the Wenatchee paper? This was in the paper on Saturday, I believe. Uh, the all league. The way to get all league and track is if at the league track meet, which was the Oroville track meet, um, you finished first in, in your race, or in the, excuse me, in your uh, event. You got first team all league, second place, and second team and third place is honorable mention. So, so were you sitting there when I talked? No, you just snuck in. Give it up for Megan, too. <laughs> This is just crazy, all these, all leagues. Uh, crazy good. So these are all first team, all league. Uh, Maribel Perez in the distance. Hector Bozo in the javelin. Hector Bozo in the high jump. Olivia Smith in the 400 relay. Ava Mitchell, 400 relay. Quincy, 
and we just couldn't beat Cashmere this year. That was the only school we could not beat. Uh, we took second at the Quincy, which was another 30, 40 teams down there. Um, our leagues, as you guys know, took Boys and Girls Championship. Our district was Boys and Girls Championship. And the one I'm most proud of is our both our boys and girls took third at state. So. We also had uh, five state champions. I'll start with the ladies: uh, Isabella, Ava, Emma, and. Uh, Ms. Rosario Olvera. Ms. Mary 
Maribel Perez. Miss Olivia Smith. And Olivia, do you get your B? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss Aubrey Stennis. Uh, Miss Aubrey Thorne. Kind of makes an offhand comment. 
I can long jump. Well, okay. The next thing I know, we're sitting in state prelims, like how in the world did we get here? <laughs> so just another stud freshman, and we're super excited to see where you're gonna go after these next three years. Another freshman, Emma Gamble. at the beginning of the track season. Like, I never really done track before. I don't really know what to do. So we're sitting here scheming and thinking of things to do. And in my mind, I get this idea all of a sudden. She's like, I want to be a sprinter. I think I'm good at the 200. And I watched her run one time. And she was kind of just out the lead. And I was like, oh, OK. And then she ran a pretty good time. The next race, she was with a lot of fast girls. And I watched her take off out of the blocks. And I was like, what in the world just happened? I did not know you could run that fast. And then I start putting together this 4 by 2 team, and I had no idea it was about to win state this year. But she was one of those people that shocked me every turn, made incredible progress this year, just worked her butt off, and Spokane and compete there. 
Nancy, because of athletic debt, you know the times. Nancy had the second fastest time in the state of Washington. Okay? Unfortunately, the girl that had the fastest time was also going to compete in the same meet. We weren't worried because state qualifying time, if you hit a certain mark, Nancy was 45 seconds ahead of the state qualifying mark. So it's a no brainer. They're both going to go. We get over there, there's 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Nancy misses the state qualifying mark by one second. So that was that, that was my big hurt there. And then along came Amanda uh, Youngers. Uh, as a junior, she won state shot put, uh, throwing 38 feet. She comes back her senior year. Uh, she is leading the state by four feet. Uh, nobody's even close to her. Uh, the week before state, or she, she wins district. Right after district, she gets sick. She's in the hospital up until the day of state. Her mom and dad drive her over there. She was throwing 42 feet. Uh, she crawled out of the car. She went and threw 32 feet, you know. Didn't even make the finals. So that was another heartache. And then this year, Victoria was, Victoria was like number three in the state in both hurdle races. Uh, we were talking about putting her on a relay too. Not that we needed it, okay, state champs. <laughs> um, but she was having a great senior year as well. And as most of you know, she hit a hurdle at Manson earlier this year fell down, broke her nose, five stitches in her eyelid, uh, knee sore, teeth were sore. She did when I drive her to the hospital, she said my teeth were sore. Uh, anyway, she recovers. We run a few hurdles in practice. She looks good, we're all excited. And then it just didn't look right. I sent her up to Sean and Sean said without an MRI, I'm 99% sure her ACLs are gone. And uh, she and her mom made the decision not to run, but this young lady had, has the best hurdle technique I've ever seen in my coaching. And she would have gotten, done really well down there and who knows, could have had a second place. I don't think we could have got uh, uh, the first. St. George. I don't think we would have gotten that. And then my last one is another gentleman that I, I got to turn out. I don't know if I got to turn out. He probably just came out. Um, his sophomore year, and that's Court Gebbers. Um, I remember you know, Fort qualified for state and go down to, uh, actually at that time it was over at Eastern. Um, uh, we're over there and there's a gentleman by the name of uh, Newbie, Newbie uh, that won the shot and disc that year. And he threw 203, I think, in the disc and 54 something in the shot put. And Fort, being this new thrower, he's like, I mean, he got a new idol that day. I still remember he ran up and wanted to hug him and wanted to picture with him. And I'm thinking, God, take your Brewster shirt off, man. I don't want people to know you're from Brewster. Um, anyway, the, the, his junior came and he says, I'm going to break those state records, you know. And to this day, this gentleman has put in more time outside of track practice than, once again, anybody I've ever coached. He calls me uh, every night. He still does. He still does. Uh, I get texts of his videos and things like that, which is all cool. Uh, court is going on. I think they're leaving tonight or tomorrow morning. He's going down to Eugene, Oregon to run at the uh, uh, University of Oregon. Not run, but compete. Compete at the University of Oregon in the national championships. And uh, he's going to see some competition down there, which is something good. Today I went out and watched the practice, and it was like, I'm in the second flight, coach. You know, of course, hasn't been in the second flight all year. Um, I already mentioned he, he broke the state record, broke Newbie's state record in the shot put. And he won the Pasco Invitational shot put and took second in the discus down there, which brings in people from four different states. So anyway, thank you. I, I like to talk. I'll just shut up here. Um, also this year, uh, once again, you could have you probably saw it in the paper if you still just went out to your or online stuff. Uh, the other coaches in our league from the other seven schools in the Central Washington 2B League uh, vote on uh, Coach of the Year. They vote on male runner, male field, female runner, female field athletes of the year. Uh, this year we took three out of the six slots. You know, Megan, Jason, Mason, Ryland, uh, Coach of the Year, so congratulations there. Unanimous selection on uh, field player of the year from the Oakland. You guys know this yet? Yeah. You do? I do. All right. And
and Mr. Uriah herself is Woo! Male Track Player of the Year.
I don't believe you told me you were going to throw there, though. No. no. So, and, and, uh, how many of them? Very good. Where? And then just to wrap it up so you guys get out of here, um, I just want to thank the parents that are in this room. I mean, most of you were down at state. Most of you followed us wherever we went this year, uh, which is pretty cool. My, my background on my computer, I usually had my daughters there. You guys have now replaced my daughters. That's, um, yeah, we'll let them see that. But anyway, the, the picture we took, um, at the award ceremony after the boys had there, the girls had there. I wanted a picture with all the, the athletes and their parents that were still around. And that's the picture I have there because this wasn't me doing it. This wasn't us five doing it. Um, you guys raised some pretty darn good kids. And we didn't have any issues at all throughout the season. We didn't have any issues down at state, on the bus rides, things like that, at restaurants that we go to. Um, so thank you for letting us uh, work with them for three months this year. And, uh, good things. Okay? So thank you, everybody. Thank you.